Welcome to RV Hour, powered by Giant Recreation World. An honest talk about the RV lifestyle, travel, costs, tips, and everything you need to know. Each week, we'll bring you the best and most helpful info, travel hacks, and answer your camping questions. Now, here's your host, Larry McNamara, CEO of Giant Recreation World. Welcome to the RV Hour, and I have a special guest with me. I'm Larry McNamara, CEO of Giant Recreation World, and... The star, the star of the RV Hour. Yeah. I'm sitting here with my with my co-producer, Dwayne Adams. Adams. Yeah, and uh, Mr. Bo Miller of the of the Coachman Motorized Gas Class A Motorhome. Co- Bo Miller. Yes, sir. I remember back in the day, Bo Miller was our only Coachman rep. That's right. He represented everything they sold. Yeah, yeah, everything from a tell from a truck camper to a diesel motor. That's a fact. There you go. So. uh Talk about knowledge. He has got it, my friend. Yeah, man. You know. <laughs> so before we get started, I wanted to uh, first give my condolences. I know you were pretty close with Claire Skinner. I did read that. She before. was. Uh, she had passed away very recently. Oh, man. And uh, she was uh, the daughter of the founder of Coachman Industries. Oh, God bless you, man. She was very influential with our company for many, many years. So. Our, you're right. Yeah, man. She uh, brought a lot to the table too, and she accomplished a lot as a woman back in the early days of oh, wow. our, in the industry, RV yeah, industry. Oh, that's cool. That's great. Yep. And uh, I believe she was even president of RBIA for a term there too. She was oh. absolutely. There wasn't a whole lot in the uh, industry she did not do. That's right. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, that's great. Yeah, she will be missed. Uh, my uh, my heart and 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 everything goes out to the family. And uh, Bo on a on a happy happy note. You know, I wanted to to let everybody know that you have a new product, and I invited you on this here show to talk about that new Coachman Motorhome product. We are Dude. very excited about this motorhome. It's called a Euro. It's um, European styling with American comfort. That's oh, right. there you and, go. Uh, by the way, if I didn't say, this is episode number 62 hey. since we started doing video. That's right. You know, so uh, again... Very exciting things going on. Tell the you. new Coachman Euro. The Euro. It, it, it certainly looks aerodynamic and sleek. Very, very modernized inside. Very it really is. It's got a, a great amenities in it. The styling is there, curved cabinetry. It, it's creative uh, usage in the motorhome. It's a really, really exciting motorhome we feel that we've got out here. Oh, well, uh, I know Bo's main purpose to visiting us today was to train the sales guys on this new product, which uh, we really appreciate. Yay. When I poked my head in, they were messing with the big screen. It's got, it's got a big, you know, big, like a tablet-sized screen in it. Yep, yeah, it does. It's a, a radio. Of course, it's a, it, it is a tablet, so it's got all the features that a tablet has on it. Oh, wow. Uh, and it'll, it'll rotate one way or the other, so either horizontal or vertical. Oh, very that's, neat. Impressive. So interesting. <laughs> what? Well, well, you know, that's just the one thing I saw. I'm curious as to what I missed. Well, uh, you know, also just starting in the front, both chairs, both seats are power. Both seats will turn around completely, become part of the living area. No, oh, that's nice. Sofa and, and two uh, additional chairs there. It's uh, solid surface countertops, lighted edges, very attractive. Uh, got the power station in the. And the deal there with the 110 volt and USB connections. Oh, nice! There you go. So it got a, a residential style range hood on it. That's All right. Very forward thinking. Yeah, man. Forward looking. Uh, residential refrigerator. Dishwasher. Wow. I don't know. Look at that. That's, That's a lot. Big package. size. Small little package. Yeah, you ain't kidding. You know, it's a king size bed. So. And it's a walk around king bed, right? Walk around. And king it's bed. not a, a Murphy bed. No, it's not a Murphy. Nothing bed. crazy like that. That's fantastic. It's walk around King Bed. It's there you go. This down. Okay. And then a and then a full bathroom with a nice shower in it, porcelain toilet, a uh, very very innovative, pretty boro. Unlike the European ones, it's not a wet bath, right? No, it is not but, a. Uh, I think that's <laughs> no. a common thing over there, Europe. No, it's From what not. What I understand a wet bath. too, the French people don't even take a bath or shower, so they don't care. <laughs> But you know that the European thought on this was to make a motorhome that was less intimidating, that was more comfortable to drive. For example, this one, the, the height on it is just a little over eleven feet, where most motorhomes are well over twelve feet. Yeah. The length on it is a little over twenty-seven, which I our number one selling pursuit is thirty feet. 
Oh, right. that's the twins. That one yeah. XBS, and then it's, instead of one hundred and two inches wide, it's ninety nine inches wide. So it's a a more compact motorhome that we've got here now. So it cuts through the wind better. Our I know our drivers Ooh. who went and picked it up for our transportation department <laughs> said it really drove very nice. Oh, really? Yeah, man, it is oh, extremely great. good driving. Well, it's the reason to, it's on a sixteen thousand pound chassis. There you okay. Go. A lot of the motorhomes that this competes with are actually on a Class C chassis that doesn't have a cab on it. So they've taken that uh, either 12, 13,000 pound motorhome, left the cab off, and then built what they called a Class A on it, which is really a Class C with a Class A front end. With, oh, no, uh, with no van front. No. Yeah. That's fancy, yeah. But I was wondering how they did that. But this is also, it's got stabilizer jacks on it. It's got all the things that a Class A has. Plus, it's a 5,500-watt generator. That'll oh, run everything. With That'll two 13.5 air conditioners. Nice. So, yeah, yeah. Um, Freeze uh, you right out of there, folks, if you're in Florida. That'll be appreciated. A lot of people. Yeah. Good storage. I mean, you, a couple that's wanted to carry their golf club, you can put a couple of golf bags in there, uh, folding chairs, uh, good storage for more to grill, oh, yeah. fit in there. How about, a, how about a towing capacity? Does it have any? That. It's got a 7,000 pounds if you loaded the capacity. Wow. Oh, so geez, it's, yeah, 40, you go. it's a 16,000 pound chassis. Gross combined is 23. So if you loaded the capacity, you can pull 7,000 pounds. See, that's more than Ooh. enough. You can get a nice big trailer. That's yeah, right. Man. That's right. You know, put your uh, golf cart in there, like and, Giant and Special and Vehicles got them. Yes, yeah. sir. That you've got 2,000 pounds of payload capacity. There you go. Well. So you, can, oh, wow. you can have your gold bullion with you. <laughs> uh, well, I can only bring about half mine. I'm just kidding. kidding. <laughs> Too good. You all know that's a lie. Everybody no. knows Larry's just kidding. But we're really excited about this product. We feel like this is the, the future in this. It's in this type motorhome. So. Oh, that's fantastic. So do we have any uh, special pricing in it, did you notice? I have, I, well, Larry, I didn't look at pricing. When I was looking That's at probably time. good because I guarantee it's not quite a map, but I can't, you know. <laughs> can't promise anything. Can't promise <laughs> nothing to you. But, uh, I, hey. did, I did not look at what you had it priced at. I'll check that. When I go look away, Bo, look away. <laughs> I will, right. I will discuss that. If that's not enough to whet your appetite, uh, make you come funny. out to one of our three locations, Ormond Beach, Palm Bay, and Winter Garden, to see the new Euro I don't know what else to tell you other than Bo also represents other products under the Coachman umbrella that is uh, all under the Forest River umbrella. Oh, yeah. You know, so. Uh, I was in uh, Ormond Beach this morning, and one thing about this motorhome is it's uh, um, it's got two trash cans there. So if somebody is into, uh, what do they call it? Uh, Environmentalist that or? If you, if you if you want recycle. to recycle, and this lady that we had in there this morning, she was into recycling. So she okay. Uh, nobody hey. else has two. There you go. Most of them don't have one. Most of them don't even have one. That's a fact. Some of them have a cubby for you to put one in, and I don't know why they don't put an eight and nine cent trash can in there. You know, made out of plastic. But, uh, put something in there. Nothing but, in there, but. But she was she was pretty excited about that. Yeah, man. See that it's, you got a recycling it's bin. It's the little yeah. thing, you know, but. Uh, and from what I understand, this this coach is all full of little things like that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a dishwasher? Come on, people. And it's, it's soft closed drawers. You know, all the drawers and the cabinet doors, you just, you know, you don't have to plumber. It's, it's all closed. It's all soft closed. That's right. And, and it's got an induction range in it. does not have a gas range. It's got an induction. Induction. Range. Oh, there you go. And a, awesome. And a that helps to keep you get, from getting burned, right? That's because right. you turn it on hot and it don't and you don't feel another. Until it gets that pot on there. That's right. Boom. Nice. Did you know that? Keep you safe. You knew that, didn't you? Yeah. Did. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, he, he lies been, a lot. I never took the reduction range, but I did know that. Oh, yeah. He's in market. How about a convection microwave? It does, uh, uh, does it also good. do the fr- air fryer microwave? I, I don't know. Oh, it's, a, it's induction. That's all right. That's all right. That's good. That's so good. basically, your microwave is also a regular oven. Mm-hmm. That's what that means. That's okay, right. convection. That's so right. Got tw- uh, two twice as quick cooking or whatever. That's right. As the other, yeah. Right. Oh, there you go. I supposedly have one of those at my home, and I don't know how to turn all that on. <laughs> don't laugh at me. You know, I'm surprised when I push popcorn and I put a potato <laughs> in there, 
After it's done, I open it up and it's still a potato. <laughs> a little potato. That's right. <laughs> Trying to get popcorn. Uh, why is it the button there? Why is it got a button like that? That's right. <laughs> Folks, those are my trials and tribulations. Uh, Hopefully that when when you come and, and view this beautiful new Euro by Coachman. Oh, yeah. We'll explain all those little Id- idiosyncrasies. And when you, before you pick it up and take it home, we'll show you how to ma- make all them buttons work and what they really do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's something we do. Which I wanted to ask you about the little window on the passenger side. Well, that's a little doggy window. Okay. Well, but, well, and it's also a safety feature so the driver can look out that window. Oh, and see see what's on the side of them. So, see if, okay. there's a, if there's a Vespa. Sitting down there, he'll be able to see that. You see that little guy. Yeah. Along with your little toy poodle or whatever you got in the yeah. motorhome with you. He can watch, too. Yeah, but, yeah, they, yeah it's basically a floor-level uh, window. Okay. But we That's also, nice. our, our side-view cameras are also mounted very low, too. So when you turn a side-view camera on, you actually see part of the wheel wheel. Oh, excellent. Oh, wow. Excellent. Good. In case something small, small was sitting under there, you'd still. Oh, that's oh, nice. That's yeah. right. So uh, is it? Built with the same quality as the bigger motorhomes by uh, Coachman? We, it is. We it, This motorhome is built exactly like a, even our big diesel motorhomes. It's a two-inch thick floor, two-inch sidewall, and the sidewall also has Asdell both on the outside and inside, so oh, there's wow. no wood at all in the sidewall of these motorhomes. That's oh, really good. Uh, the is. roof, of course, is five in the center, three inches on the side. It's got a soft-touch ceiling on it. And it does have the cool stream duct work in there as well. So it's actually duct work that the air conditioner systems run through. And there's two 13.5 wow. So that, in a in a little 27-foot package, that will absolutely freak 5. you 5. out. 50 amp service. Yeah. And I guess they're ducted air, you said. Absolutely. So uh, soft touch means uh, it's like r- carpet oh, on the roof. Padded. Very, very yeah. soft. Very nice. And then does it, it have those cool lights in there? Right. It's strip lighting in there. That's right. And yeah, it also we, we has, like oh, it. yeah, it we has should. a Gerard legless awning on it as well. So, and uh-huh. the, it's got a wind sensor, so if the wind picks up, it'll automatically Wow, out. see? Whoa, that's, that's fancy. fancy. I've talked All about that great. before. And fiberglass roof. Fiberglass roof, folks. Uh-huh. There's a whole lot going for this coach. You this is it. This motorhome is loaded with features. We are so excited about having this this product out in the market. I, I, I dare to say I would consider that a sexy motorhome. So everybody, if you want to see a motor home that is sexy, sex, that your neighbors won't report you to the uh, homeowners association <laughs> if it's parked in the front yard or whatever because yeah. it's so sexy, it's so nice. Then come out and see it at Giant Recreation World. And this could possibly even pass homeowners association regulations to be able to park it in their driveway if they wanted to. It's a it's a small class A. Oh, there you go. That's that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, man, you ain't kidding. Yeah, and it has a slide out. Because I'm one sure they one super one slide out of the bedroom, so the bed goes in that right. Yeah, very nice. I'm sure that keeps a lot of people from getting RV sometimes worried about the storage. Yeah, can't well, put it in your driveway. Yeah, a lot of that. now if you could just park it in your driveway, no problem. No well, big it's, deal. It's not quite as tall, not quite as wide. It's more aerodynamic looking. It cuts straight through the wind. So mm-hmm. when you're when you're being when you're passing a semi truck or they're passing you, you don't get pulled all over the road. It's a plenty big chassis, so I'd say it's built more. It's built for more than less. Oh, yeah. It was also, you know, Ford doesn't ship them with that motor home with steel wheels on it, but we buy the aftermarket wheels put on there, so it's also got aluminum wheels. Oh, wow. There you go. And believe it or not, I, and I've had arguments with mechanics before, mm-hmm. that those aluminum wheels will make the ride smoother, believe it or not. Really? There you go. Yeah. I would I'd be like, oh, BS. You and, know? And, and then when you put me, it to the test, me. yeah. Oh, wow. Full body paint is standard. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Everybody looks good. I like it. Yeah, man. Well, you know, they don't shrink up and crack like the decals do on yeah. most of the products, right? Yeah, man. So, uh, again, there's another feature and a benefit to having that feature. Oh, you ain't kidding. See? You talked about the Pursuit, which is, I guess, the Coachman entry-level coat, right? It's a it's a price-sensitive unit above the it, that's a, we, our baseline that we start with. Okay. Then we move up into the Murata, then into the Encore, then... Yep, yeah, yeah. and I guess somewhere in there would be the new Euro now. I don't know what level or whatever, probably. It really is kind of in a but, area but, by itself because of its size, because of the amenities. I, c- I couldn't put it in that same area, I don't believe. Yeah, yeah. What what are well, we aiming for here, this motorhome? Who is it supposed to, to uh, take out? Well, it's 
going after that couple, for example, that's wanting to come out of a 40 foot motor home, get into something smaller. There you go. Um, you know, two bit, maybe one take sometime or wherever they want to go. It's, it's not for the couple that's got four kids. They want to go camping for a week. Right. Right. That's right. Right. So it's so much better, I think, than a, uh, a van camp. Absolutely. You know? yeah. And I know it's priced about the same nowadays as a van camp. So, and, and the, you know, Class Bs and the, some a lot of the Class Cs don't have leveling jacks on them. This has got jacks huh. on it, so it's got a lot of a lot of the features there. That that's what the 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 big motor coach people want. They know oh, yeah. they want it, so if they don't have it, they miss it. Yeah, that's right. I'm with you on that. So, hey, folks, we're right now we're putting more money in trades than I've ever seen us do before. Oh yeah. Matter of fact, I'm yelling at them boys because hey, you know, I got I get yelled at by the by the bean counters, right? <laughs> you know, but. Uh, they're still doing it because they said, "Boss, we got to get this heavy, heavy iron rolling." Yeah, and man. And I know right now we got a a major deal available on all of our new 2023s. Yes, sir. And uh, quite a bit of our 24 stock too. Oh yeah. You know, I think uh, I PO'd a, a new Tiffin the other day that was a 25. So yeah. We got 25s coming soon. I don't know about Coachman, but uh, I think they're probably soon to follow. Is, is, with it, the motorhomes anyway. It'll be soon. Yeah, yeah man. There we go. You heard so, it here. We're it, not there yet. It's very exciting. And, uh, Bo, I've known you now for probably 40 years, maybe, maybe more. Well, <laughs> yes, I've been with Coachman well, almost 40 years. We have a lot of fond memories. And uh, uh, you've been such a good partner to Giant Recreation World and my family, including my late father, Don McNamara, yeah, who yeah. only spoke more than highly of you. So, man, I, tell you I love you all, your whole family. It's <laughs> been a very good I I enjoyed our great. quick little segment here, and I'm so excited. I'm going to go take another peek at that Coachman Euro hey. just so I can tell everybody about it. All right. All right, Bo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. At Giant Recreation World, you can buy them, rent them, trade them, or get them service and repairs. Check out the RV lifestyle, freedom to travel when and where you want to go. What are you waiting for? April is time to take advantage of new inventory to choose from, plus new sale prices and markdowns. All units made in America for America. Plus, at Giant Recreation World, you get the warranty forever. Get in on it. There's a location near you in Winter Garden, Palm Bay, or Destination Daytona. Check them out online anytime at GiantRecreationWorld.com. Hey, welcome back. Boy, what a pleasure Mr. Bo Miller was. That was. You know, that's why I had to use him to start this this uh, this segment. Yeah, man. You know, he and I go back so long, and uh, we were rem- reminiscing during the break uh, about Claire. And, oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> some funny stories were, were discussed. Yeah, uh, man. It's a, but that's the kind of relationship we try and forge with our vendors. That's right. And then... We take that forward to our customers. That's right. That yeah. is Giant Recreation World. We're our episode 62. Hey, R2. R2. And we have three locations, Palm Bay, Ormond Beach, Winter Garden. There we go. And we are stocked up and we are loaded for bear, basically, oh, yeah. what you say there. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are blowing out our 2023 inventory. Yes, we are. At unheard of, drastically slashed pricing, you know. Because the 2025s are, are soon to come in, and I want everything gone before we take in our first one. There we are. Yeah, man. Which that's is very goal. exciting. That's my goal. That is a great goal to have, man. Again, Get it just makes dollars and cents, if you yep. know what I'm saying. Which is more funny talking with uh, Bo, telling them about our pricing. Right. Yeah. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Uh, <laughs> I, I just like to do that because uh, it really gets them bothered. Yeah, you know? get them all riled up. <laughs> so uh, in this uh, second segment, I wanted to discuss some of the top attractions to see in Florida, uh, basically that are not on the beaten path. Yeah, you know? off the beaten path. So, uh, with that being said, I'm going to jump right in because there we go. it's very interesting. So, the first one on the list, again, they are they are in no rated order. <laughs> I like that you preface that. Right, man. but uh, is Gatorland. Gatorland! Have you ever been to Gatorland? Uh, no. See, you have to go and experience Gatorland. Now, I've been to, in the Everglades, they have the Gator Park. Okay. But it cool. wasn't Gator Land. Gator Land is, it's got shows and activities and a whole lot of training and you can, you can pet a gator and yeah. you can sit on a gator and you can, you know, you can wrestle a gator. There you go. You know, but uh, also what I thought, what I learned the first time I went there was that uh, gators can go really up high out of the water. 
Yeah. They're not really jumping, but they're they're really long, and half of their length is their tail. Yes, sir. Their tails, they'll they'll push off the bottom and come basically bring right it out, out right. of the water. Yeah, so when I looked up Gatorland, they have what's called the jump roo There you go. And that jump roo show, that's what the guy dangles the chicken and the gator jumps out of the water. That's the craziest that, thing ever. That's where I said, oh, look at that gator. <laughs> All right, so, uh, you know, it's in, uh, it's 14501 South OBG. That's right. Orlando. On the Blossom uh, Trail. It's basically a unique wildlife uh, park and cons- conservation center known as the Alligator Capital of the World. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you can experience up-, up close encounters with gators. Like I said, you can pet a gator. Hey. They got crocodiles, so you can see the difference. And other... Oh, uh, gator jumper room. Nader flo- Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just cutting you off. Go, go, get. I'm with you. Hey, I, I can stay on Gatorland forever because I love that place, you know. <laughs> However, in the heat of the summer, uh-huh. that place is a little stinky. Got a little fragrance going you there. You can have a little bit of gator aroma in the, in the air. You know. They get the real experience mid-August. Huh? Right. <laughs> you know. So the next one I'm going to let you take. All right. Jungle Adventure. So this is in Christmas, Florida on East Colonial Drive. Nice ride. Yeah. It's a uh, Jungle Adventure is a naturalistic zoo and wildlife park nestled in the heart of Florida swamps and forests. Visitors can explore lush tropical landscapes and encounter exotic animals such as panthers, bears, snakes, and alligators. Wow. The park also offers airboat rides, nature trails, and interactive animal encounters. Okay, so many people I talk to have never been on an airboat. Yeah. Have you? My entire life. I've been in Florida my entire life and never been on an airboat. Okay, so you haven't been to Gatorland. I haven't been to Gatorland. You have not been on an airboat. airboat. Well, I live next to the Everglades, so you feel like you're constantly in Gator Lake. Uh, it's not the same. Not the same. It it's the just same. not the same. It's not. So, uh, <laughs> and and uh, you think airboats are, you know, they're in that they're really noisy and loud. Right. Is that right. why you're afraid of them? Are no, no, of, no, no, not afraid of them. Just yeah, I never think so far. Done it. Just... Everything we're talking about is, is of the redneck variety yeah, of yeah. activities. Yeah. Are you anti redneck? Never. Never. I got redneck in the family. Okay, folks. Come on. I'm I'm going to probably uh, call some BS on them answers because a good old redneck is always, number one, he seeks out the opportunity to get on. Do you know what? Better it, drive an airboat. I don't think I have enough redneck friends to go on it. That's now, I've been four-wheeling. I've been eating gator. Love the gator bites. But never been on an airboat. It's unbelievable. I, I, Even my school, we never had the school trip. Most kids go on it in the school trip. I won't hold it against you. I, well, I feel you feel it. Uh, if you ever get the opportunity, I'm going to give you a couple of keywords to remember. All right, come on. Hey, you reckon we can get some skinny water? Whoa, okay. that's so a good one. What that is is grass with uh, water along the bottom, you know, not real deep. Oh, okay. That will That is a, a, a flourishing environment for an airboat. Ideal airboat. Oh, some of those airboats will go well over 100 miles an hour. Get out of town, really? It goes that fast. It goes that fast. Holy moly. And the skinny water is perfect. That's what they like, yeah. You don't, you, don't, you, you think on the open water is better, but no, because then you you have a... Uh, oh, the chop almost, the chop. right? Yeah, it's okay. It's not good. Oh, well. Wow. And too much chop. That airboat is, by all means, it's got a big fan on the back. Yeah, man, uh, just take off. Yeah. yeah. And then flip you, know, you over. There's a whole lot of things to learn, and, and be you push to go right, and you pull to go left. But they're custom made, so some people pull to go right, push to go, go left. So uh, again, you'll have to uh, do some practice. Skinny water, though. And did you know you can run them on dry land? Yeah, that it is. I had a grandfather who used to build uh, aircraft, okay. like uh, the right. uh, air air boat. I tried your. <laughs> Come on, okay. Aircraft carrier. It's not an aircraft carrier. What is the hovercraft? Oh, Dang, no. that took a second to get there. Hey, Google, what is the thing that fills up with air? <laughs> Did you have you driven a, a? No, no, I was a I was a child at the time, but that's what he used to do as a hobby. He would build hovercrafts. See, that sounds fantastic. And never went on an airboat though. Unbelievable. All right, well, that, we'll put that on our bucket list. Yeah, you along with kidding. getting you on an airboat and getting you at the Gatorland. Yeah, yeah. So uh, another place to go is the Wakaira Springs State Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in uh, <laughs> Apopka, Florida. Woo! On uh, 1800 Wakaira Circle. And it's, nice. uh, it's basically a, a scenic natural oasis located just north of Orlando. You can you can enjoy swimming, snorkeling. You can uh, canoe oh, in yeah. the Crystal River or the crystal clear waters of Wakaira Springs. It gets that name because it is a spring. It is a spring. Yeah. 
and uh, usually it's pretty cold. Oh, very cold. But not too cold. But yep. cold enough to where if you if you're on an inner tube, you can hang a six pack of cold beer in the, in the uh, water. Oh, yeah, in the water. It'll keep it drinkable. Yeah. This is where the mermaids are. The mermaids swim. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. It does feature miles of hiking trails, picnic areas, and opportunities for all kinds of different wildlife viewing and bird watching. Yay, Not yeah. to men- m- mention snakes and spiders. Ah. We are in Florida. Yep. We don't like spiders. You Don't take see. the next one. All right. We got Ponce de Leon Inlet Lighthouse. Now, I've actually been to this one. Uh, as have I. Yep. This is in uh, Ponce, Ponce Inlet, Ponce. Florida. Yeah, St. Augustine. Uh, the Ponce de Leon Inlet Lighthouse is one of the tallest lighthouses in the United States and offers stunning panoramic views of the Atlantic Ocean and surrounding area. Visitors can climb to the top of the lighthouse for a unique perspective or explore the adjacent museum and grounds. Hence, uh, wear comfortable shoes. Oh, yeah. If you uh, are not in very good shape, don't walk up there because it's oh. really, really hard. Yeah, it's a tough, <laughs> tough walk. You ain't kidding. Up them stairs. Yeah, and they're not, you, you go kind of around a spiral. Spiral you know, stairs. Stair, stair, yeah. It's uh, basically what it is. When you do it, it's helpful to uh, hum the uh, the Indiana Jones theme song while you're doing it. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. Sorry. Uh, All right. This next one, though. Yeah. Go ahead. I've also been to this one as well, but we never got in. It was like the busiest day. The park got filled up, and they turned us away. Like, hey, oh, it fills so up. Moose should have told you it's closed. It's closed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the moose should have told you. <laughs> Bring it back to vacation. Hey, really maybe uh, you didn't get that analogy, but hey, I did. <laughs> so uh, you got the you know, world. <laughs> Dunlot and Sugar Mill Guard. It's yep. in uh, on 950 Old Sugar Mill Road in. Port Orange. Oh, yeah. You know, I've seen that before, and I didn't really, it didn't jive with me, so I've never been. Oh, you've never been? Okay. So uh, it's uh, it's a historic botanical garden located on the site of an old sugar mill dating That's back right. in the 19th century. You know what I see is the sugar mill are a campground, but, yeah. uh, by the way. Yeah. So uh, uh, visitors, you can explore the picturesque gardens, ruins of the sugar mill, and scenic walking trails. Uh it also features a museum, butterfly garden, and picnic area. Oh, yeah. I like the butterfly garden. Yeah, you know? those are nice. Yeah, yeah fun. Yeah, very the exciting. monarchs. Yeah, monarchs. Yep. So the, uh, on a quick note, the McNamara family donated the monarch butterfly statue in downtown Winter Garden. We, we did. Had... Uh, that was memorized, mem- uh, in memory of uh, my father, Don McNamara, and his then wife. Yes, sir. Yeah, it was nice. We just saw that recently. Did a little video on that, so it was nice. Really cool to read up on. Very cool. Yeah, and man. there's a nice plaque there with a the whole story. It's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, next place. I know, I'm familiar with this one. Do you know, I've never heard of this one. The birthplace of Speed Park. Had no idea that's where the birthplace of Speed it started. Is. 21 Ocean Shore Boulevard in Ormond Beach, which is where I live. That's in- one of our stores. Come and check it out. Yeah, it uh, commemor- commemorates the early days of automobile and motorcycle racing in Ormond Beach, known as the birthplace of speed, yeah. believe it or not. So you can learn about the area's race and history through exhibits, monuments, and historic markers. It also offers beach access and scenic views of the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, very nice. Yeah, there's there's other things to do, too, but I think they're cutting it short. Yeah, yeah. Now, I've been to uh, Big Daddy Don Garlitz. Yep. In Ocala there? In Ocala. Yeah, man. That was that was a cool I seventy five. I know the speed park, they were racing on the beach like that. That's very neat. Yes, they were. Yeah. Good. So very cool, right? Very. Uh the casements I'm also very familiar with. One of my bu- good buddies got married there. Oh really? Yeah. There you so go. Twenty five Riverside Drive, Ormond Beach. Hey. It's uh it's historical home and cultural center overlooking the Halifax River and Ormond Beach. Oh, well. Yeah, once the wit was the winter winter residence of millionaire John D. Rockefeller. Hey. Yeah, the mansion now serves as a museum and community gathering site. Oh, that's nice. The gardens are beautiful. Yeah, I imagine it's pretty large too. Yeah. yeah, you can tour the beautifully restored home, explore the gardens, and attend cultural events and programs. Hey. like marriages, like so, marriages. Yeah, a lot of people get married. That's a good one. This next one, the uh, Sebastian Inlet State Park. I've gone surfing. Been there. Yeah, very good. All right. So we've got uh, Sebastian Lincoln State Park. It's a popular outdoor recreation area located on Florida's east coast. Visitors can enjoy swimming, surfing, fishing, and picnicking along the pristine beaches and scenic shoreline. The park also features natural trails, wildlife viewing opportunities, and a historic fishing pier. 
Yeah, it's on uh, A1A in uh, Melbourne Beach. Oh, yeah. yeah. How about... There are... Grab up. Hey. hey. I was going to say, there's a hammerhead shark. Oh, yeah. Be careful. Get, just punch them in the nose. Punch them in the nose. Is that what you do? Yeah, then they don't know. You grab them by the side Although of the Although they, they don't really have a nose. They got a ha- hammer. You get both their eyes. Come right in the hammer. Punch them in the hammer. So uh, we got Everglades National Park. Oh, yeah. You told me you uh, yep. you might know what this is. I know of this place. Take it, yep. take it down. So the National Park, of course, is in Homestead, Florida. Right. Now, the area is huge. The Everglades are huge. It's a vast wilderness area spanning across southern Florida, known for its unique ecosystem of marshes, mangroves, and wetlands. Visitors can explore the park's diverse landscape through airboat tours, hiking trails, and guided ranger program. Hold on. Airboat tours? Hey. And you uh, grew up in Everglades? In the Everglades. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Never been on an airboat. It's go ahead. Incredible. The park is home to the abundance of wildlife, including gators, birds, and endangered species, such as the Florida panther. Yep. You do see them now and again. And, oh, yeah. Uh, off of those mangroves, you can catch the mangrove snappers. Oh, yeah. They're good eating folks. Uh-huh. Yeah, they got a big old concrete spiral lookout out there that you can go and see. It's pretty neat. See? More climbing. More climbing. Uh, How about the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex? Beautiful. It's uh, it's, uh, It's in Merritt Island on uh, Space Commerce Way. Mm -hmm. And uh, it offers uh, an immense experience into the history and future of space exploration. You can tour interactive exhibits, view historic spacecraft and artifacts, and witness rocket launches from nearby Cape Canaveral. Yeah, yeah. The complex also features behind-the-scene tours, astronaut encounters, and simulated space missions. Yes, sir. Uh, I have a lot of personal memories when uh, when I visited there. Yep. Uh, I remember they had a tile, a piece of tile that they put on the space shuttle. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he had a uh, and he hit it underneath a torch, and then he said, "Touch it." And I was afraid, but. Oh, it doesn't heat up at all? It doesn't heat up at all. Oh, wow. Just little things like that you'll learn. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. yeah. And we got the uh, the Salvador Dali Museum located oh, yeah. in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's uh, home to the largest collection of works by the renowned surrealist artist outside of Europe. Oh, yeah. He's one of my favorites. Yeah, it showcases uh, his masterpieces, including paintings, sculptures, and drawings, mm-hmm. spanning his entire career. Yes, sir. Visitors can explore the museum's striking architecture and engage in interactive exhibits and educated uh, educational programs. Yeah, man. Maybe you can uh, find out why he paints melted clocks and stuff. Yeah. I, th- I think it was the drugs. <laughs> right. His face. But I've actually, I've been to his museum in Barcelona, Spain. Hey, very nice. Pretty awesome. And I've been to the one in St. Pete. So one of his famous, most famous paintings is in the MoMA. It's this big. Wow. And then he has a huge one that's like 12 foot tall. I bet there's a a melting clock in that. There's a clock. Well, it's melting elephants. Okay, see something. (laughs) All right. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. On to the next. In uh, St. Augustine's Historic District. Oh, yeah. That's another place to go, of course, in St. Augustine. Yeah, man. Uh, It's the oldest uh, continuously inhabited European settlement in the United States. There you go. Featuring a rich tapestry of history, culture, and architecture, visitors can stroll along cobblestone streets, Explore centuries-old landmarks such as the Castillo de San Marcos and the Fountain Fountain of of Youth, Youth. archaeological park, and discover charming shops, restaurants, and galleries. Very nice. And back in in the day last I was there, it still had the general, the big tree. Oh, yeah. That that, that the lady burned up while she was smoking the crack. (laughs) You know know what You know why people do that? Why is that? They don't have RVs. Yeah. You know? They in an RV. Live your life. Let the stress flow off. No yeah, need to man. put it down an old tree like that. Yeah, no need. I'm going to get this last one in real quick. Go. 30 Come seconds. On. You got it. Biscayne National Park in Homestead, Florida. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, diverse marine ecosystems, including coral reefs, mangrove forests, and seagrass beds. Just a short drive from Miami, visitors can explore the uh, park's underwater wonders through snorkeling, diving, glass bottom boat tours, or paddle paddling along the scenic waterways. Very nice. Hey, we'll be right back after a short message. Giant Specialty Vehicles is Winter Garden's number one golf cart dealership. Choose from multiple brands to match your budget, including advanced EV golf carts starting at just $79.99. Or check out the Mad Jacks or Atlas. Escape the heat in their air-conditioned showroom and try before you buy. And rent a golf cart for your next adventure. Need repairs? If you're local, it's only $20 to have your cart picked up and brought in for service. Or if you're a do-it-yourselfer, explore their parts and accessories store. Giant Specialty Vehicles. Find out more at GiantSpecialtyVehicles.com. 
Hey, welcome back. I hope Bo know we re really appreciated visits, but uh, yeah. you know, I wanted to talk about some of these 2023s that we're blowing out. I, I keep telling you that's our focus this month. Yes, sir. Our new 2023. Getting rid of some items. You ain't kidding. And Bartos Corner oh, is chock full of them. Yes, sir. Episode 62. Bartos Corner. Yeah. So uh, the first featured unit of the day is a new 2023 Coachman Concord. Yeah, yeah. 321DS. That's a very nice unit. It's currently located in our showroom in Winter Garden. Oh, yeah. It's on the 450 chassis, Ford or 450. It's powered by a 7.3 liter V8 engine Woo. that's also referred to as the Godzilla engine. Is it really? It's called the Godzilla engine. Yeah. What, and is that just for the power or the size? Well, it replaced uh, the uh, the V10. Okay. It also replaced the Boss. Uh, they call it, and they call this one the Godzilla God. because um, mm. if you if you convert 7.3 liters to CCs, it's a 445 cubic hit. Whoa, that's a big boy. That's why. Go go Godzilla. If you wondered what that meant in cubic inches from us old school guys, basically it's not quite the 460, but hey, you know. All right. it, it's fine. That'll work. Because that, that was way back in the day, 460. The 460 was a bigger. This has a whole lot more power. Oh. Wow. What else has it got? It's got the, uh, it sleeps two. Yep. And it boasts a, a, a one island king bed that is uh, yeah. that is in the slide room in the very rear. Oh, yeah. Across from that bed is a big dresser drawers, this big closet with two closets in it. It's got all kinds of storage. All kinds of storage, yeah. It's what I call the walkthrough bath. It's got a, uh, 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 what do you call it, an entertainment center seating, theater oh, yeah. seating. Yeah. And it also has a dinette. Yeah, outside I like that. It, it got the outside entertainment. It has got the uh, the overhead. Uh, the overhead does not have a bunk in it because it's basically streamlined with the cab. There you go. Keep it smooth. It's, uh, it's what I used to call it the B plus. Which is nice sometimes that it's not hanging over you. you know? It isn't hanging over, so you, yeah. it does not inhibit your visibility, especially yeah. at your stoplight. But, yeah. uh, it also has a big, you know, glass uh, front window in that area. Oh, yeah, that windshield is Which nice. Uh, kind of like a big moon roof, if you, uh -huh. you know, if you want me to say it. But uh, yeah. it's a great floor plan. It's Like I said, it's in the, the showroom in our Winter Garden store and has all kinds of cool LED lighting enhancements. Oh, so, yeah. This is this is a great unit. I like uh, the uh, MSRP is two hundred and twenty five thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah, you yeah. and we have it on sale for one hundred and fifty seven four forty four. Now oh. this is a premium class B plus or Wait, kid. class C class minus. C minus. Whatever, yeah. I call it that because it does not have an overhead bunk and it's perfect high end class C coach for a couple. Yeah. Or a it's almost person. seventy thousand too in savings. Yeah, it's yeah, so I think it's the recliners that get me in this one. I really like the recliner chairs in the unit. Sure. How about the uh, uh, twenty twenty three Coachman Freelander? It's model twenty nine AB. Yeah, yeah. It's in our Winter Garden store. I'm gonna give you a, a tough uh, thing here. What's a KB stand for? Do you think? Uh, kitchen, keep back, kitchen back. Uh, I, I don't know. Killer I'm bunk. Uh, I'm hoping. Cool. Uh, nope, I have nothing. This particular coach is also on the E450 cutaway chassis. Okay. It's got a 202-inch wheelbase, GVWR 14.5, 7,500 pound towing hitch. Yeah, yeah. It uh, sleeps eight people with four separate beds. Oh, well. The first bed is in the rear with a king walk-around bed in a big slide. Okay. Uh, the convertible sofa bed makes a bed. Then you have the, the J lounge, which makes a bed. And then you have the overhead bunk, which makes a bed. Wow. So, uh, again, there you go. That's how it can sleep eight people. That's a nice size, man. Yeah. Or if you're all adults, you can sleep probably six. Right, six in there. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, with that being said, a whole lot to talk about there. It's got uh, 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 opposing uh, sofa and dinette, like a, a big J. The J lounge is very comfortable. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it, it makes for a really nice, big living area. Oh yes, yeah. a, a, a kitchen just to the to the rear of that, and the the uh, bedroom is absolutely in its own room, so uh, it doesn't inhibit your uh, your floor plan. Yeah, and I wonder if the the kitchen the KB is like a kitchen that comes out to where all the other kitchens are along the sides in the slides, Maybe. To where this kitchen kind of shoots out into the middle. 
Potentially. Yeah. We're going to have to ask Bo. I'm going to get Bo before we go. We'll find out. Again, it's not, it's not his product anymore. Oh, that's He's true. Bo. Bo is our Class A gas only. Company. That's now, right. But however, in the past, he was everything. Yeah. Yeah. So that is a 146.5 list price. We have it on sale for 89.9. Can you believe it? Woo! Almost $57,000. All right. Folks, don't forget, all of these coaches still come with a warranty forever. That's right. And they at no cost to you. You're a, a member of the Priority Service Network. Always. And you can, for 50 bucks a year, join our VIP camping club and take advantage of the hosted campouts we go on. There you go. And uh, we also do catered meals, so you get your money back in spades, and you get 15% off parts and 20% off on labor. Yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah. No, you're kidding. Of course, those uh, set, those pricing is uh, only on non already blowout pricing. You know, yeah, that's get right. Discounted if there's no no, no uh, nothing else. Not discount. an ounce of horse feed left in that baby. <laughs> yeah, not an ounce of horse feed. <laughs> All right. So you can take this. Here we go. Twenty three Coachman Leprechaun three one one FF. Yes. All right, so the list price we got here is uh one fifty eight two sixty seven. It's on sale right now for ninety nine 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 seven. That's unbelievable for a coach of that. It's almost sixty thousand in savings. If you're a hundred grand, you can't even get like freelanders of today for that. So that's a great deal. Yeah, sleeps eight. Got all that same things that I talked about with the seven point three liter Triton V eight, also known as. The Godzilla. The Godzilla. Yeah. 14,500 UKR. Go, go, go. F450 chassis. Yeah. It, it uh, sleeps eight. Also has four beds. The yeah. same kind of four beds as I just discussed. That's right. But it's a great floor plan. It's got a huge, uh, basically a, almost a full wall slide, or should I say the full living room area slide. Yeah. That can, that has a pantry and the kitchen and, the so, and a sofa. Yeah. See, this guy does the kitchen on the side there. I wonder if the FS front sleeper for the bunk up front. Maybe, although they all have that. Yeah, that's true. I'm just saying. We're gonna try it. We're gonna, we're gonna see. All right, I'm going big time now. How what about do you a, got? how about a 2023 Coachman Sports Coach? Here we go. These are all Coachmans. Have you noticed? Hey, do you want to know why? I feel like there's a theme. Well, because Bo was involved. Bo's the Coachman he's man. Got, he's got the Coachman feeling in in my heart right now. There so you go. The Sports Coach SRS, which is a straight rail. Hey. Uh, 354 quad slide motor home diesel pusher. Uh, it's in our, this particular one's in Ormond Beach. It uh, has a 208 inch wheelbase, uh, 26,000 pound GBWR, 340 horsepower Cummins ISB, 6.7 liter turbo diesel, 700 pounds of torque, an 8,000 pound hitch. It's got a, over a 60 degree wheel cut. There so, we go. Uh, you can turn. You don't have to do a three-point turn. That's a girl. Turn right up inside. Turn right in that, man. Yeah, and uh, it sleeps eight with four beds. How, how's the four bed? This is a class A. Well, Side. let me explain. So you got a king bed. Okay. That's a walk around. Oh. You got a, a sofa bed. You got a dinette that makes a bed. And then you have an overhead bunk that comes out of the roof. Whoa. That one's uh, 339795 We have it on sale for under 200000 or almost one hundred and forty-two thousand off. Holy moly! That's a great deal. That is a great deal. I like these guys too. What you got me on the quad slide? It made me look back if the FS was like a front slide, but it is not. It's got two slides on it, so it's like yeah. it's not a four slide. It's a quad slide. All right. Anyhow, coming to two thousand twenty-three Coachman Pursuit thirty-one BH in Ormond Beach. We've got that at a list price of 186,605. It is on sale right now for 109,777. Ooh, that's that's a cheap project yeah. for a coach like this. It's sleeps Holy 10. Did you know that? Holy moly. It sleeps 10. Let me tell you how. Can I tell you how? Yeah, tell me how. Where are you? All right. Guys? So, you got the king bed in the back back bedroom. Okay. Uh it's got the uh, and and uh by the way, there's a full wall slide on that sucker too. Yeah. So, the whole wall slides Good. out. That's where the space is. So it's uh, a little bunk room, so it has two twin bunks. Okay. So that's uh, two X, two separate beds. It's got a dinette booth that makes a bed. It's got a sofa bed, and it has a drop-down overhead bunk. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it can sleep technically 10, uh, I would say, it pro- or it could sleep 8. Oh, oh. If, you, if they're not all kids. 10 little people. 10 no. Children. Well, yeah, if, you, if there's the little bunk out in the back, in the, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It has uh, 
six beds, two of which are little twins. Okay. Yeah, but there you go. Yeah, man, that's pretty impressive. I would yeah. say, like, yeah, six adults, ten children. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, thank you for that. That's cool. Yeah. How about uh, how about uh, another another beautiful coachman, Murata? Hey. 31.5 KS. Here we go. And uh, no, that doesn't mean kitchen slide either, but nope, it could. No, Because it does, one of the slide outs has the kitchen. Has the and kitchen. It, but I can't swear to that. We should, we'll, we'll ask somebody like Bo. Yeah. That's why I wonder if it's got a whole acronym list. Right, yeah. But that's on the F, uh, Ford F53 chassis, 22,000 pound GVWR. Yeah, yeah. So it's a real motorhome. Oh, yeah. 228 inch wheelbase. So it doesn't have a whole lot of tail swing. Right. Yeah. Which is nice. That is. Helps you get into those tight spots. Yeah. Drives better. Drives better. Uh, it sleeps four because it has four or eight. It has four separate beds. Four beds. Yep. Yeah. It's got the king bed in the back. It's got the sofa bed. It's got the dinette bed. And it's got the overhead. The overhead. It comes out of the ceiling. Those are nice sizes too. That's true. That is true. by 81 is. So, uh, it will also pull 7,000 pound hitch. Yeah. yeah. And like Bo said, that's the GVW. R. That's so right. If you don't fill it full of all the stuff you all your gold bullion, yeah, you can actually <laughs> tell more than that. Get even more out of it, yeah, man. Yeah. So uh, it's all it's uh, two hundred forty thousand seven thirty five on sale for one thirty seven eight forty four. Well, one hundred and three thousand off MSR. This is a full body coat. That is not. Nice. Again, you won't find any. It's three slides. It's got two opposing slides in the living area, and they're super strong. Wow. So. It makes for a huge living area. Yeah, man. And then in the bedroom, you you got your king bed that goes in a slide, plus a pretty large uh, uh, section next to it that is also for storage and for countertop space. Oh, okay. So, again, it's a great floor plan. That is. You will uh, not go wrong if you came and purchased one of these suckers, because uh, not at that pricing anyway. Yeah. I like the closet space it does. So it's yeah. a very nice unit. Which I want to ask, too, is the little window on the Euro, is that a new thing to the industry in a sense? Oh, uh, uh, here's a story for you. That was invented by Allegro, Tiffin Allegro. Oh, wow. Okay. Way, way back when uh, the Tiffin Allegro motorhomes were gas okay. only, and uh, they were white and brown. Wow. They were white and brown uh, stripes. Striping you know, Lateral stripes. Okay. Basically, and they were made out of aluminum, uh, and aluminum siding, aluminum. like a travel trailer used to be. Oh yeah, yeah. So uh, they had the little doggy, little, little oh, window there. I think they yeah. called a porthole. Porthole. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Which I imagine is more for driving than it is for the dog, but still, yeah. I was curious if that was just a thing because I know uh, semi trucks also have yes that they, little area. It's for all that. good. Yeah. So uh, let me let me That's let me tell you something thing. real quick. Any twenty twenty three we have on our lot. We will not be undersold. So make sure you come out. Tell the salesman, I want to see the best deals on the lot. He'll take you right to these because they are. There you go. So, again, any 23 just because I'm not talking about it, there, we, have all, That's right. we have all to choose from. Yeah, there's a huge yeah. list. It's when we do Bartos Corner, you only get about six in, so we try to do the top six of that. That's a fact. But so, there's a list of, boy. So I wanted to start with another... Uh, unique rv destination that i wanted to talk about it's not okay. only an rv destination but it's both because it has a, a, a additional a, a, onto it is a big koa campground whoa very nice okay uh, but uh it's uh in loxahatchee florida yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's called the lion country whoa <laughs> lion country safari it uh like i said has a koa campground with RV oh, yeah. sites tent sites uh, safari tent rentals and cabin rentals. That's right. Now the uh, the tent rentals and the cabin rentals are no pets. They don't have any pet friendly ones. Yeah. And the tent rentals are no AC. <laughs> so <laughs> don't, don't go in August. They'll be staying there in August, September, you know, <laughs> July. It'll be a little warm down there. Warm. Oh, yeah. Have you been to Lion Country I Safari? I have. And and uh, in the evenings when you're sitting out under the awning, you know, having an adult beverage of or or of some sort, maybe in a Diet Coke. Okay. Uh, you can hear the lions roaring. Oh, off in the distance there? Oh, it's that's cool. Kind of scary. That is. I've never been at night, but that is, that's got to be right. something. So, uh, things to do uh, you, you, at their, at their, what they call their drive through safari. Okay. So, uh, they have a four mile drive through wildlife park with large herds of animals oh, yeah. roaming wide open. In naturalistic habitats. Oh, that's cool. Which they have seven main habitats that you can drive through. 
Oh, wow. That's pretty interesting. Let me, let me go on. Come right. on. Come on. Uh, one of them is called Las Pampas. Whoa. So, so you have the uh, Aldebra tortoise. Okay. You have alpaca. Okay. Yeah, Brazilian man. tapirs. That's what the weird no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, you, you have uh, the greater rea, which is a big bird. Oh, oh, oh that's pretty yeah. cool. And then you go into the Ruha National Park area. Oh, no. Where they have greater kudo. They have impala. They have ostrich. Yeah, yeah. You know? Then let's go into the Kalahari bush felt. Woo, the Kalahari deserts. Yeah, so you got the eastern bongo. Okay. You got the gems bok. I don't know. You got the Nile lishwe. <laughs> oh, necre. Ostrich, water bucks, wildebeests. You know what those are, right? Oh, I do. How about uh, you go into the Gur Forest and you got the Asiatic water buffalo. Oh, wow. Black buck. The lowland Nyala, the <laughs> Nilgai, the Schmitar horned orcs. Whoa. You know, let's go into the next segment. We're going to have to Google you know, some of these guys. Gorongosa Reserve. You got African lions. What? Guess what else they got in there? What's nothing? <laughs> Just lions. Just the African lion. And then we uh, tried to hump some deer in there. It just didn't work out. So the, the Serengeti Plains, where you got the common eland, oh, the wow. common water buck, the impala. The Mirabal Stork, Ostrich, oh. the Watusi, uh, you got the uh, Inkhole Cattle, and Wildebeest. Yeah, yeah. The last one is the Wangay National Park, where you got chimpanzee, giraffes, kudo, plain zebras, so- southern white rhinos, and white-handed gibbons. Whoa, we'll be back. Have a trade? Get top dollar now. And if you need service, parts, or rental, Giant Recreation World has you covered. Shop at GiantRecreationWorld.com or visit their three locations. The only RV dealer in Central and North Florida with a nationwide RV warranty forever. GiantRecreationWorld.com. <laughs> 